Hello, welcome to Anselm Griffith's Occasional Series in YouTube Tutorials and today we're carrying on the previous uh, Visual Basic tutorial about mouse events and now we're looking at keyboard events. So there's the three keyboard events. We're looking at key down, key press and key up and we're only going to look at one of them because we want to keep it nice and simple and that's a key up. Okay, so there's the argument, key event args, and there that object has all those properties. I'm not going to look at that too much. Oh, we're going to look at handled and um, key code. So, so handle there and key car and handle if the uh, indicates if the key press event is handled and key car stores the character that we're going to put into our text box. So, uh, We've done that. We uh, so we've put we've carried on the previous example and we've put in a label as I think I mentioned before. There's the label, and we've put in the text box and I've named the text box there as text age. So we want to get this code in. So how do we get that up there? So if we just double click that. That pops up. I like that and we click up here and we find key up okay now that is left under there but we'll get rid of that in a minute now I'm being slightly lazy here I'm going to copy and paste this in so what are we trying to do? We're looking for a key up event and we've put in a comment so chrw returns a character associated with the specified character code so what we're doing is e is the variable we've got the key code of the variable we get the chrw of that so we're getting you know, what character code is in and then we carry out this logical check car is number so is it a number is it not a number and finally if it isn't if the car is not a number then enter numbers for your age and text id is left blank okay so let's run this so customer id as before the mouse over still works yeah that's Anselm we're into here. That's Bolton. And if I type in you know something stupid here like dog. Okay, this prompt comes up, enter numbers for your age, and age should go blank. If I persist, it'll still give me all these errors. And finally when I put in age I get to thank you for your cooperation. Okay, so thanks very much. Thanks for listening. Hope that helps.